Hey everyone, Kevin here with Divinely Design, and I have a card uh, paper crafting video today. This will probably be pretty short. This actually isn't kind of like a tutorial. It's just more of a review of a project I made. So this is a exploding um, photo box. Um, I, for some reason, I just have this urge to make a photo box. I don't even know why. I, I think maybe I saw a a YouTube video a couple weeks ago and I just have been wanting to make one. I don't have any real reason to do it, but um, I've been sort of, you know, wanting to make this exploding box and I was in um, the store the other day and I found this paper pack that I just really loved. I love the colors in it. They were um, gold and pink and sort of blush and um, kind of into the corals. So this is um, called Blush Glam, and it's by Craftsmith, um, and uh, it has just, you know, lots of, like I said, pinks and corals and um, golds, floral patterns. Um, so, yeah, so I just, this is sort of what um, the color scheme that was inspiring for me. Um, I also used some solid colors. This is a double-sided cardstock stack. Um, and so the three that I used were um, these sort of, again, kind of in the pink and coral family um, and slightly into the orange family. Uh, so those, these are pretty much the base colors that I used and then I used a lot of the patterns um, as decorative elements on top of that. So I thought I would just kind of go over it and show you um, what I did and kind of talk about some of the different elements. So on the top, it's it's about um, it, it's about four inches by four inches. The lid's a little bit bigger, um, and the, the lid is still kind of snug on it here. But um, I just did some of the the pattern paper from the. Uh, pattern stack and cut them out and left, you know, just tiny little borders around it. Um, I put some paper flowers kind of on the top. I, I didn't make these. These are store-bought flowers. And then these little um, sort of hat pins that I made. <clears throat> um, I have this ribbon that has a little frill around it, which I thought was nice. Um, I didn't want to make this, like, super girly. I mean, it's definitely kind of feminine, but I like kind of the bold graphic patterns. So, I, you know, I think it's it's definitely feminine, but it it's not, like, super girly, if that makes sense. Anyway, so let's take a look um, inside here. So there are three different layers. Um... The first one has really no, like, moving parts to it. It's just just the layers. So it's probably a little bit hard to see, but there are actually photo corners down here at the bottom. I used this product here. Um, so there are these sort of transparent photo corners. They come in a little sticky roll, so they're really easy to use. But um, I have this this piece of um, just cardstock here, and they just sort of slide right in the corner. So the idea is, you know, you could add some photos um, on each of these little um, squares, and I let some, uh, just some sort of titles for a little bit of journaling. These are some handcrafted flowers from Heartfelt Creations, and uh, just a little bit of bling here. So that, that layer is very sort of simple. Um, the second layer, they're all sort of the same. Uh, they are this, uh, this one here. So each of them has a piece of ribbon across it that holds in place kind of this mini tag. So you could take out the tag and put a photo here and then use the back to do some journaling. So there are four of them, um, you know, and they all look the same, just some different pinks. Um, and each one of these um, is able to open up. So... Um, let me see if I can open them all here. So the tags sort of then go onto the back. 
So each of those open up, and again, I used some photo corners. These photo corners were a little bit different. Um, so just looking over here on the side, these photo corners um, are down here. They are actually a Martha Stort product, so they're fabric, and they're actually a little bit soft. They have a tiny bit of dimension to them. So, so there's photo corners kind of um, alternating when they're all open, and again, you could just take photos and put them out. I used some of the um, cutouts from the paper pack itself just to stick them in there to sort of give ideas. Um, the top and the bottom ones here actually have just um, a, a strip of pattern paper that you could slide something in. Again, I kept some pieces of paper there for, uh, for potential journaling purposes. Um, and otherwise, these are just sort of sliding in place here. So that's, that's each of the second layers kind of folds, folds open to have another space to it. And then finally, the last layer um, is the one is kind of the neatest one actually. There's a little pull tab you'll see that's a piece of ribbon and I actually used a magnet to hold this down. So there's a magnet in the top piece of paper here and it's sort of hidden by uh, the pattern paper and then there's a magnet on the the bottom piece here but you so it holds it nice and tight but when you open it it actually unfolds quite to you know quite large size um, so again, there's a place to put a photo, um, and then I put a band here that um, has some cards for journaling, and then just just some pattern pieces um, here. So when it's opened, uh, and again, I kind of did this in the, um, you know, kind of coral colors, or pink and coral, and... So when those are open, it's actually quite large, um, just to give you sort of a sense of it. Uh, and each one of the, you know, each one of the panels themselves um, has a place for a photo and then a place for journaling that you could just slide something in. Um, so when you open it all up, here. Um, so it's probably hard. I probably can't get this all in the shot. Let me see here. I get kind of a higher, higher shot. Okay. So, um, so there's lots of places for photos. Um, so one, uh, two, three, four, and then here on the second layer, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. And then on the tags, 13, 14, 15, 16. And then here, 17, 18, 19, 20. So, you know, not huge photos, but there's places for about 20 photos in here. And then there's probably four or um, five, no, four to, let's see, four to eight kind of journaling uh, kind of places. So um, anyway, that's it. That's my exploding photo box. And um, uh, just a quick short paper crafting video. Oh, I, I will, let me show you these. These are the magnets. These are called neodymium magnets. Um, so there's a large one. I didn't use the larger one here. I used the smaller one. So this is a whole roll of them. I got them from, I just ordered them off Amazon. So these are, these are very small um, and they're very thin. So, um, for this last layer, what I did was, let me see if I can close this up here to get a better, okay, so, the magnet is actually underneath this pattern paper right here. Um, and so you can't actually see it. Now you can feel it, there's a tiny little bump there, but it actually, they're so thin that you can actually kind of conceal them. So there's one here, and then there's one here. 
This one you might be able to see a little bit better. Um, there's a round kind of circle there, but it's sitting right there. So this crease, you know, when it folds up, this magnet lines up with that other magnet. Now it actually has to go through several layers of paper, but they're very strong. So when you put it together, um, it just holds it in place like that. So, okay, that's it. Um, comments, questions, leave them below. And uh, I'll try to put some still photos um, after the video as well. That's it. Thanks so much for watching. Bye everyone.